Hi guys, Jeremy here, and uh, before I mentioned replicating the sun in a previous post uh, for solar projects here, I have a solar badge here, and I used an HID light, but what I didn't do is put the HID light in a fixture. So I have a driving light, um, kind of borrowed from my truck, and uh, this is going to hit this, and it does do a good 5 volts, um, so we did have a, I did have a good result, and uh, it's pretty awesomely bright, and uh, it needs a 12 volt supply at a, um, over 10 amps. My power supply is only good for 5 amps, so I have an ATX power supply here that uh, I've used for a long time. Uh, just put a switch in it to, to make it manually turn on. So I have this up to 12 volts, then you can see it'll output. Seriously? My next tutorial is how to modify an ATX power supply as a bench supply, apparently. Hi guys, Jeremy back again with a power supply from an, un, from an unsuspecting PC that I stole and uh, modified it so it will be our, our uh, high output power supply, about 14 amps at 12 volts. So I have an HID light here, a solar cell which is hooked up to this meter here, which is giving me about 2.5 volts. I can get 4 volts out of it under these bright LEDs here, but it's still not putting out the full 5 volts that it can. So uh, if we flick this guy on, you'll see that it puts out about 5.5 volts. Uh, once this guy warms up, that wine will go down too with the, with the transformer. Uh, you can see that it puts out about 5.5 volts, um, which is good. And uh, the milliamps aren't quite there. Uh, these cells will put out 40 milliamps uh, easy in the sun without effort. Um, and so uh, you can see this is light is still warming up. The voltage is still climbing here. So if we switch this over to milliamps, um, you can see that the milliamps aren't quite as... Uh, as much as it's about 17 milliamps, um, 17 and a half, maybe 18 milliamps. So, uh, a bench power supply is a good thing to have here because um, we can uh, we can select the output uh, 5 volts and 40 milliamps and no more. And so, what that does is it puts a cap on your project. I mean, obviously, you want to measure you know the um, the power consumption of your project so it's not over 40 milliamps. But this is kind of a real-world way to get uh, power that would simulate a power from a solar cell of 5 volts and no more than 40 milliamps. And then uh, you can output that and it'll tell you how many milliamps it's, it's taken. This circuit right here takes about uh, 17 to 19 milliamps uh, when it's running. And that's a 328 and an RGB LED that's been dremeled down to almost nothing. So um, while this is, uh, it works, it's not very practical. It's pretty ridiculous to have... Um, 20,000 volts of HID lighting and all this flying around your bench here. So, um, I hope this uh, hope this is is good to convince uh, you guys to get a, a good power supply, a bench top power supply. It took me a long time to get one, but I finally broke down and bought one, and uh, very very happy I did. So, uh, anyway, uh, happy hacking and have a sunny day.